Hello and welcome to Minecraft Education Edition Series on Common Core Math. I'm James Pike and today we're going over third grade standard measurement and data number one, clocks and how to tell time. And I figured what better way to learn about clocks than to actually make our own clocks in Minecraft. So in this lesson we're going to go over uh, how to tell time, the different bases that are used in telling time, and uh, coding and how to engineer a clock. So without further ado, let's take a look at this clock that we're about to build. Okay, right now, uh, this is the minutes, um, and this is the hours. So right now, the hours are at 7, and the minutes are at 37, 38. And as you see, as the clock ticks, um, a new piece of sand will fall onto the ones column pile. And there it goes. Over here, we have our ticker. This is what's going to keep our time and determine what our unit of time is. Normally it will be a minute, but in this case it won't because we want to see these things hit. So as you just saw, the ones column regrouped and went into the tens column, uh, making the time now 740. The yellow lines are to give you a visual understanding of where the fives are and where the tens are so it's easier to tell. Um, so right now we are at 741, 742, and now I'm going to fast forward the time a little bit so, so we can see it regroup. So right now we're at 749, and it's going to regroup into 750. Um, there are 60 minutes in an hour, so let's see what happens when we group our clock, so when our clock hits, boom. We are now at 8 o'clock. So we were at 7.59, and we regrouped to 8 o'clock. Um, so let's see how this thing totally resets. So let's take it to 12.59. So as you can see, the clock is at 12.59. It got hit with one more minute, so it regroups. And it should now go into 1 o'clock. Voila, 1 o'clock. And now we're going to have 1.01. So I hope this uh, will help you understand how to tell time with the clock. If not, just watch the clock tick. Um, teachers ask your students to set your clocks to like 436. To set your clock to 436, I'm just going to go over here, set my hours, 4, set my minutes, 3, and then I'm going to set it up to, oop, it's going to be 436 on the very next tick. And here's our clock ticker going. Boom, 436. Um, when you're testing for regrouping, you're going to have to set your clock to 59. And now let's see what happens at 459 when it flips over to 5. That's going to flip over to 60, which is going to flip that over into 5 o'clock. And then the last one you really guys want to test a lot is 1259 so put it up at 12 take this up to 50 and take the ones up to um, 1259 and then boom let's see what happens it regroups it should hit one o'clock cool in the next series of videos are going to be broken down into four different steps of making the clock the first one is setting up your interface the part where the user looks at the clock the second part is coding the clock, and there'll be a video for each one of these. This codes the ones column. This codes the tens column for the minutes. Uh, these are both minutes. And this last one codes the hour column. And then after that, you're gonna make your ticker with the redstone clock. Okay, so uh, click on the individual videos and um, work with your team to build a clock.